Hello and welcome to Express Yourself. I'm your host, Vernon Richardson. And tonight, I have someone very, very special from my community, from West Lanham Hills. I'm proud and delighted to have here tonight, expressing themselves, Shanetta and Hope. Hello and welcome to Express Yourself. Hello, Hope. How you doing? Look, we, we know it's a problem in our community today, okay? We have a lot of problems in our community. But in West Lanham Hills, let's talk about our community where I was raised and where you're still currently resident of West Lanham Hills, correct? Mm -hmm. What do you think, or how do you think our community is today? Do you think we can make a change, you and I? Well, most of the things in our, you know, in our community, it's pretty nice there, and it's real quiet. And mm -hmm. most, I think, the reason for that is because we have the park right down the street in the rec center. It keeps, it, you know, it keeps the neighborhood, neighborhood nice, and the kids not wanting to run around and hurt each other, but play at the park together. So, you know, a lot of rec centers would probably help any community. Well, um, Hope, have you been able to involve yourself with the recreation here in West Lanham Hills? Um. No, I really don't. I'm, I'm really involved in school more than where I live around, you know, like with um, sports and things like that. Okay, and, and sports, what, what's your favorite? Softball. Softball? Like, yeah. Okay. So do you plan to take your softball skills, your, you know, to another level? No, just probably to, just basically in school. In school? Yeah. Okay. Education. Okay. Do you think you are receiving the proper education? Um, from some of my teachers I am, but others just seem like they really don't care. It's basically on really what class it is or who's teaching you. Is you it know? favoritism? No, it's not really that. It's just their priorities, I guess. That's what Their priorities? I yeah. think their priorities are there to teach you. Am I correct? Not always, no. no. They, they might just be there to get a check, you know. Well, you know, I, <laughs> to, exp to express me, to express to me about uh, uh, the teachers being there, they're there for one, one reason, I think, to do their job and to teach yeah. the youth. Uh, for them to be there to, to get a paycheck and just to receive a paycheck only and have that somewhat to show that attitude, I think it's uh, a very negative attitude and you, like yourself have picked up on that. Um, how would you describe a negative teacher? Um, hmm. Shanetta, help her out. A teacher that doesn't pay much attention to the classroom, you know, she just sits behind the desk and gives them work and let them go, you know, by themselves. They don't really learn anything that way and they end up talking to everyone in the classroom, not about the classwork, just talking, you know. Um, a lot of teachers in school, they just they give you work and then they don't want to help you. They give you an assignment and they tell you directions for it, but they don't tell you how to go through it. And a lot of teachers, I think if they would try to help the students or go around at least in the classroom, it would probably help more. But now they just let you sit there and you're pretty much on your own and everybody just talks to each other. It's more like a playtime in a lot of classrooms and the teachers let you get away with it. So you're spending seven hours a course of a day and you're supposed to be there learning and achieving and getting ahead in life. And teachers are not just giving the, themselves the opportunity to do the right thing, and you're suffering, so to speak, mm -hmm. right? Let's, let's be honest, okay? Right, yeah, because, you know, some students there, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people in the classroom might sit there and do their work because that's just the type of person they are. Okay. But if you have a lot of noise around you and you have a teacher that don't stop it, it's still hard to learn. So, you know, a lot of teachers aren't doing their jobs, and some are. At, at Northwestern, what did you, or did you achieve? Did you achieve something at a graduation point? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like that you accomplished something, or you just sat yourself through the high school well, years? No, I didn't feel like I just sat through the high school years, okay. but, um, the, the main thing I really had a problem with, you know, was like after graduation. It's like when you get a diploma, you really can't do anything. It doesn't amount to anything. You have to go 
you have to go further in school to really get anywhere else. So it's like all those years of high school really don't pay off unless you get a scholarship okay. or, you know, it's just, it's really, I think that's bad for somebody to go, go to school for so long and they can't come out and get a job in case they need to go to college and try to save or something like that. But otherwise, no, I didn't feel like I was cheated or anything. Okay. Hope, do you think education is the key of success? Yeah, because you have to have a good education to get a good job. And if you don't have an education, then you'll probably do something just to make money, you know? Okay, good, good. What about the violence? What about, I hope, you're, you're still in school right now. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about the violence uh, that's going on uh, in the school systems today? Well, it's it doesn't really have to do with school. It's okay. just how things are, you it's know? It's just how things are. Yeah. And how are things? I mean, how are things for people just to bring deadly weapons uh, uh, to the point that, you know, have to be carried among themselves throughout a school, which you're supposed to be there for uh, getting an education? Um, What's the demeanor behind, behind that? Um, probably just a... A boy you know, thing? Feel, uh, no, uh, no uh, it's not uh, necessarily a gang a boy thing. thing. No, it's just, it's just a feel, you know, like, like you have some protection or whatever like that, you know, because if somebody, I don't Well, I mean, do you, fear, do you fear yourself? Do you fear your life in school? Not, not me personally, but I know a lot of people at my school that may, you know, that may feel that way. That they have to have a gun or a knife or something just, just to feel like they would be fa safe in school. It's, it doesn't have really anything to do with the school. Okay. It's about your your person. It's about you. It's about the personality. Yeah. Each individual has a different personality yeah. and attitude. Okay. So the ones with the real bad attitude, they want to carry something on their side. Yeah. So to speak. Okay. Yeah. And the ones that are positive and trying to do the right thing, they're 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 among the negative people, and it's just a, a somewhat of a negative yeah. or positive clash. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So now, what have you learned? Since you've been out of high school, since you graduated last year, what was the most productive thing that you have gotten out of your education now that you're out in the real world? The most productive thing I learned at school. Um, since, you, since you graduated. I would say how to, how to handle myself, you know, because, you know, you go through a lot of things in high school, different experiences. Mm -hmm. So you know how to deal with people more. and. With the edu you know, with education, that's always good, you know, you, and you find out the better you do in school, the more somebody will accept you. So, you know, if you, you mess up in school, you, it might not mean anything to you while you're in school. It might not seem like such a big deal, but once you're out, it, it counts a lot, you know. That's like really all they have to look at. So, you know, you have to be careful when it comes to that. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that uh, my Express Yourself viewers is taking this time to... Uh, you know, open their ears because what these young ladies have to share and say to you and myself, um, I think is very, very important and we need to stop the madness, we need to get to the point and we need to get uh, ourselves together to help one another. Uh, as these two young ladies sit here, uh, I'm proud of you and um, I'm hoping that uh, everything goes well for you and uh, you know, you've been uh, among uh, so now you, you, I can remember you from a long time ago that um, you always been a very positive person and I'm so glad to see that you're still that same positive person because it's very important and I think you're going to go very far with the, the attitude and the personality that you have is very very important and uh, any, any, any comments? Mm -hmm. I would just you know I would say, you know, I'm real positive because mm -hmm. my parents are positive. But, you know, if some people don't have family, so if you set goals for yourself, it pretty much inspires you to do a lot of other things. Okay. That's how I keep my positive okay. attitude. Hope, how about you? Do, do your parents support you in what you do, whatever? I mean, whether it's softball, basketball, whatever. Is that support there? Yeah, always. Always? Especially with my mom. Okay. 
dear old mom. <laughs> Wanna say hello to mom? Say hello to mom right there on camera too. Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, parents are important. And uh, some of us are fortunate and some of us aren't. Um, some of us are raised without a father and a mother. Or some are just raised among themselves. Uh, you know, it's, it's a situation that um, it touches each individual differently. And uh, I think when parents play their role and do the right thing and be the role model that they should for their kids, I think uh, more kids will turn out better. Do you agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It all starts at home, I guess that's what they say. You say it, it starts where? At home. It all, all starts, starts at, home. at home. Yeah. See, say that one more time, real loud, real together. It starts from home. It starts from home. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure my expression of yours are with us because that's true. And, I, and I'm a firm believer of it. It starts at home. Um, a lot of people try to put the blame, again, on the teachers or or. Or whoever music or right or the music let's talk about the music real quick what, what do you think about the rap music well I don't have anything against rap music okay I think that you know the, the words that might be in there might you know it might offend some people <clears throat> but it's true you know why well, try to take away something that's true um, when it comes to rap I don't like it when somebody tries to say well people are out there killing each other because they listen to a rap song if somebody is, you know, is not headstrong, then they might listen to a song and make a decision. But you shouldn't, nobody should be that easily pushed, you know? Okay. Just from so, the song. I take it that you do listen to rap music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been encouraged at all by any verbal rap music songs, lyrics? No. No one's ever. How about you, Hope? No. So it's a mind thing, right? It's all upstairs. Mm -hmm. Your mind, your personality. It's all about what you're about. It's all about what you're about. Yeah. Okay. Well, ladies, time is out. I mean, we're running out of time. Okay. okay. But uh, before we go, we'll wrap it up real quick. I want you to say something to our youth right now. I would say just you know, have it, stay in school, get a good education, and try to get the best grades you can because it counts in the end. All right, Hope. How about you? Just, just keep your priorities straight and just do what you were, what you think you should do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Shanetta and Hope from my community, I'm proud of them, and I hope you are too. And I know that parents are. Stay tuned. We will return right after this message. Watch the role models rolling And if you're living foul, you could begin again This show right here kills off the page Vernon Richardson is all about peace So take a chill for about 30 It's about brain health and how to express When Raymond was six, I was afraid to take him to the playground Because they were doing drugs When he was 10, I couldn't let him play ball in the schoolyard Because of the gangs When he was 15 I wouldn't let him go to any dances because there could be a fight or a shooting. Now he's a man, and I realize he's never been a kid. Give your children back their childhood. Do something now. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Together, we will take a bite out of crime. Here's one time it doesn't matter who your neighbor is. Here's the other. Life's too short. Stop the hate. Hi, I'm George Clinton, saying you should always express yourself. And back to you, Vernon. Hello and welcome back to Express Yourself. And now joining me for the second edition is Lenny and Antoine. How you doing, Lenny? Good. Antoine? Ain't nothing. All right, what's happening, fellas? Ain't nothing. Huh? Ain't nothing? Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing happening? <laughs> Something got to be happening. Uh -huh. uh, what's going on in our community? What do you, what do you, are you satisfied with, with the, our community environment? Yeah. I'm real satisfied with our community because we, you know, as you know, we just got a new rec center and everything. Mm -hmm. 
And it seemed like when we didn't have the rec center, it's like all the kids didn't know each other, but now the rec center is a place for all the kids to come together and do different activities and stuff like that, like play basketball, do whatever. So you, you're meeting new people, you're yeah. finding out uh, that uh, other people having different skills, you're being able to be more competitive yeah. and uh, instead together. of playing with the same old yeah. people, yeah. and then you got people. some new new people, new, mm -hmm. faces. new faces, right? Yeah. And the Recreation Center has done that. What else has it done? Just just they uh they also have a they have a lot of activities that go on down there. Like uh such as uh, they have aerobics classes down there for some girls. Okay. You know, for people to come down there. What about me? I mean I can you lose a few pounds, man. Yeah, you, know? you too. I can go down, okay. Yeah, you can go down All right. lose a few. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lenny up here rubbing. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I understand they have like karate courses for yeah. the kids. Yeah. Um and some other things as well. Yeah, yeah a lot of stuff. little parties. You, you can even rent it out for uh, you know like parties if you want to have one yourself. Personal use. Yeah, personal like use and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. So I, I, I might have to check that out real soon because yeah. uh, I want to have an express yourself jam. Yeah, I would like it's that. Nice and that. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Positive yeah. jam. Positive Clean, jam. safe, and positive. Yeah, that'll I'll work. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Sound good to me. <laughs> what do you think about the other communities that aren't fortunate to have a recreation center? I feel sorry for them because a community brings a whole neighborhood together, you know, and a rec center is a start. <coughs> All neighborhoods should, should have rec centers, mm. to me, personally. You think that that would help cut down some trouble in the community? Yeah. yeah. I think that cut down a lot of dealing drugs and, uh, mm -hmm. and fighting and violence and stuff like that. Brings a sense of hope. Yeah. So to yeah. speak, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New sense of hope, uh, encouragement. I, I mm -hmm. can do things. Huh? Yeah. Finding out your skills and your challenges. Yeah. That's right. So recreation center is is wrapped up uh, in one big ball of positive uh, energy that people come and ex and express themselves among other people and do mm -hmm. positive things and constructive things, and it works out to benefit all of us, doesn't it? All of yeah. Us. yeah. And even some people that's it's not even around the neighborhood. You know, it's people we see in school, and we tell them about our park and our basketball court and our, you okay. know, our neighborhood people. Right. You just have little games. It makes you feel good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, mm -hmm. get gotcha. to know a lot of people. Well, I'm, I'm glad that the recreation center is there now because um, when I was coming up in the community, there was no recreation center. But um, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's up with the youth these days. You know, it's a little different now. Right. Can can you explain? Shed some light on that. I mean, uh, I mean, talk to me, man. What's what's going on? It's Why mean, so it's, much it's, violence? It's jealousy uh, to me. It's, it's jealousy and disrespect to each other. Yeah. It's you know, people don't have respect for each other as they used to do back when you was growing up. Cause man, those make me sound <laughs> so old, man. <laughs> <Woo. Yeah. laughs> Go ahead. But uh, okay. I think it. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. That's all, you know. But the, violence, the violence needs to stop, you know. It's like in our school, we got a lot of violence in our school. Like, percentages, terrible. <laughs> they be canceling some of our stuff at school, our activities at school. You know, like like game bells and stuff. Homecoming. Homecoming. And Hold on, they, you said they canceled? They canceled some of our, our homecoming dance at Fairmont Heights because of the violence that that happened before our homecoming. Last year, doesn't even have anything to do with you guys. No. This year, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last year was last yeah. year, right? Yeah. This year is this year, it's a new, mm -hmm. a new decade, new year, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, you know, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, these people, the youth, people that are going to school, attending school right now, why? Why cut out the extra activities? We're gonna have problems but we got to try to face and solve them at the same time cutting the activities I don't think it's going to be the, the it's not it's, it's not right uh, I, I guess so to speak far as um, what's happening but what can we do as parents and youth to try to get this 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 dance back together is it anything that you can share to our viewers that can bring back this school dance. I mean, because I know that it, it's an activity that everyone likes to look forward to every year. Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and it just you know brings a little blues you know to the situation. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. for the seniors, yeah. Castle Homecoming, right? That yeah, hurt. That'll be our last homecoming. I mean, mm -hmm. what's going on? I mean, what's a dance? You know, homecoming without a dance? What's, what's yeah. Cause, unheard know. of? Yeah. But that's what's happening, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not only in your school, and probably some other schools yeah. as well, right? Yeah. So as youth, we have to either become responsible. Uh, start respecting one another, get off this attitude kick, and, and let's have a fun affair in a positive way together. I mean, let's, we, when are we going to start or when are we going to learn to do things together without punching one another, disrespecting one another? What's the reason? What do you feel? What do you see out there, Antoine? Uh, I see a whole lot of it. Jealousy, as we said before, between each other, and uh, <clears throat> it, if jealousy stop, you know everybody do their own thing. It'll be, it'll be peaceful to me, you know. Personally, I think we need to, you know, like we said, it's like have more community stuff, involvement, and stuff going on in communities and other communities. Let me ask you about. Uh, we, we spoke earlier about the, the rap music, but I'm going to ask you guys about television. What do you think about violence on television? Do you agree or disagree, or, or do you learn, or do you capture anything from it? Do you repeat it? Uh, I don't repeat yeah, it. I, don't I repeat agree it. with it because <coughs> this is what's going on. You know, there's yeah. violence everywhere. No matter where you go, it's always going to be violence. Yeah, it's just there's really nothing you can do about it. It's really telling the truth, you know, because you can't. Uh, can't go to life just thinking there's not no violence going on. That's true. Not no violence and nothing going on. So they just, I think it's the person. If, you, if you're stupid enough to go out and re do, repeat it. Yeah, repeat it. it. Yeah, there's something really wrong with you. You need to get help. So again, we're talking about uh, each individual personality here, okay? A mindset, correct? Yeah. And uh, if your mind ain't right, th obviously you're going to reenact or reoccur what you see on television, correct? Mm -hmm. So do you think uh, the, it's the promoter's fault for putting, putting a, a show or a violent show together, or do you think it's up to yourself as an individual or up to your parents? It's, to me, I think it's, it's kind of like up to yourself. Okay. Cause you, good, good. You should have learned that when when you was a little kid, you not to you know repeat stuff right. other people has done. Well, it's just that you're gonna have to start really taking responsibility for yourselves, right? Yeah. And knowing what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. And I think if more people t uh, take the time out and um, respect one another, and, and and let's say, well, let 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 let's stop all the the the, the crap stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Let's 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 get on with life the right way. I think uh, we'd be better off, of course, but it's, that's too easy. That's the easy way out, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to have some knuckleheads out here. We got to have some disrespectful men out here that want to disrespect our women and, uh, you know, vice versa. But you guys know where we're coming from, right? You know, okay. We, we're all in this together. Um, it's our community, the society that we live in, we're responsible for. And it's up to you, myself, and the viewers to help change that. Yeah. Okay. Responsibility, let's talk about it for a moment, okay? Your parents, I'm quite sure that, um, <clears throat> do they support you in what you do and what you wanna do? Yeah, my mother and father and my stepfather too, they, but they all three of them support me in anything I really wanna do. You know, they always talk to me about it and stuff like that. They give me a lot of moral support. You know, whereas, see, I was lucky. I grew up with parents and stuff. Whereas, you know, I grew up with your brother, where his, y'all's parents died when, at, when he was at a young age, and you was his mother and father. So, you really need more support to keep going on in life. You know. Let's see. Okay. Any role models, real quick? We gotta wrap this up, guys. Do you have any role model, particular role models in in your community, uh, outside your community? You know. Hey. I have a role model. Yeah, I got a couple role models. My parents are my role model. All right. And, uh, you know, I got friends, your brother, even yourself. It's, you know, role models. Brought me up, making me, you know, 
I don't want to be no thug up and like make me think. You know, every time I see, you know, I get <laughs> you straight, toes, set you yeah. straight, right? Yeah. And Lenny, I thank uh, both of you guys for coming on and express yourself. And real quick, let's kick it to camera one. Say something, man. Give it some straight, straight to the point. I just want to say, stop the violence. You know, just keep the peace going. And no matter how far people try to bring you down, just keep climbing up to the top. Antoine? Yeah, I like to say, uh, just start respecting each other. Have, have more support to, the, to your community and to, to yourself. All right. Guys, thank you for coming on and expressing yourself. And there you have it. For my community, I'm proud of these guys because I think they're very positive and sincere and going and obviously doing the right thing or they wouldn't be here expressing themselves. Okay, so stay tuned. Don't go away. We will return after this message. Drunk driving doesn't just kill drunk drivers. Next time your friend insists on driving drunk, do whatever it takes to stop him. What up your fine line between bank and brawl? For the young ones, this should be a thing song. There ain't no fake in a flag and being torn head. Hello and welcome back. And now joining me, my lovely co-host, LaSonia Johnson. Hello. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? I enjoyed the show. Vernon, I commend you for your efforts. The kids from your community are great. Outstanding, they have, aren't they? They have they, um, both, all of them gave positive messages. And wait a minute, I understand that we have a very special guest in the audience. We Someone, do. Someone, um, speaking of responsibility, that you raised from childhood. Your brother. Who? My, Kenny Richardson. The one and only, my Come little on brother. Come out here, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> All right. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, my little brother, Kenny, I love him to death. He's the one and only. And we're going to take you time out for this message. I'd like to say to all of our Express Yourself viewers, if you have any comments or would just like to express yourself, you can do so by calling us on the Express Yourself comment line, area code 202-861-0207, extension talk. Or you can write to us at P.O. Box 2337, Landover, Maryland, 20784. up in a cold sweat with one thing echoing through her brain. Who is this guy in her bathroom? Meanwhile, Barry was thinking, whose bathroom am I in? Janine remembered going to the party the night before and getting smashed out of her mind. Barry remembered getting drunk and acting really stupid. Eventually. The whole evening came back. Oh, I must be really stupid. I must be really dumb. What did I do? How did I get myself into this? Well, what did I do? How did I get myself into this? What about... What about... What about AIDS? Then they both realized, much to their relief, that unlike the rest of us... They were just cartoons. Get high. Get stupid. Get AIDS. These moments are made possible for 20,000 more people every year by the Leukemia Society of America. The Leukemia Society of America. We're gaining every moment. 